know, we had these two cases that were 95 All-Star game for the first half of the season. Now we have transformed them with the help of Heritage Works to two cases about Adrian. So he's just gonna, we're gonna unveil the two cases and then he'll do his media scrum. I try to enjoy it. Uh, it's been a, a, a good, crazy year. Uh, trying to soak it all in, but you know, it's, it is it is big, nice, and uh, uh, I uh, yeah, I do try to enjoy it, and, and I'm really grateful. You were so focused on um, getting to be tried. Yeah. And thank you, people. Now that you've gone a month since that, a. Has have you allowed it to all sink in and, and just appreciate that weekend? Not yes, I get what you're saying, but not completely. Uh, we left Cooperstown and we stayed in New York for a couple of nights. Uh, went back home and we hit around running with the kids. Uh, we had a vacation that we were supposed to go, but we ended up not going because the kids uh, it were busy. So um, not yet, but I I, I understand. And I know what what that weekend was, but uh, I I will I'd be lying to you if I said that I have a soaking and all in yet because it hasn't yet. When you were looking at those cabinets, was there anything that just really struck you, stuck out? Uh, I mean everything. I, I haven't seen it. It's really cool. Uh, I don't know what you call the memorabilia corner, um, but it's really nice. I'm gonna see it a little more after you guys are done. But yeah, it's really nice. What, what did you think when you saw your plaque for the first time in the Hall of Fame? I said it was official. I <laughs> uh, got in the morning there and I saw the plaque and it was, it, it's a little surreal to be uh, uh, in actually in the Hall of Fame and, and, and being in the museum and, and being there with everybody else. You know, it, it was really nice. Uh, I know that you know it was expected. I know that I was gonna be there, but once you're there, it's just it's different. And uh, I'm, I'm, I was really happy, really grateful to be there. But uh, that is something really special in my life. Adrian, of course, we saw you all the years with them on the field with you when they were young. That picture where they're running out to you in the big moments, and then there they were in the truck, you know, on yeah. the Hall of Fame parade, and all those things. So much. Older, but all of it, I know they've been old enough to really appreciate. Yeah. How special has that been? It is. It is been really special, especially because my family understand baseball. They love baseball, uh, especially my son. So having the family with me uh, in all those uh, different occasions and and, and uh, where is mainly for baseball. Uh, it, it's like I was saying before when m my love is. Baseball and my family, and when I can combine both together at the same time, for me, it's a win-win situation. So when I can have my family with me, uh, enjoying what I what I do, what I did, and having them part of it for me is is, is a great day. I know you still have, like you said, allowed yourself to just sit back and appreciate it all. But when your mind does flash back at that weekend, what stands out as like the most surreal or special moment? I, I, I can't actually mention different ones, you know, like I, I probably talked to you this before. Uh, having a conversation, actually, like a long conversation with Marichal, which is, you know, for people that know, he's been the pinnacle of baseball in my country, the first Hall of Famer that we have. And uh, I got to know him before, but I never sat and have a conversation with him for a long time. And then having him 
come to the Rangers party and actually got up in the podium to speak about me and say so many wonderful things. I mean, for me, it was, it was one of the highlights of, of my trip over there. Um, and then uh, when I got there, I, I was in awe just looking at all the different Hall of Famers walking by you. Um, but the, one of the uh, Hall of Famers that I want actually to have a conversation with was Mike Smith, that has been like the best third baseman ever. Uh, and I got to do that, and he was the one actually approached me uh, to have a conversation, which is, it was another highlight of my trip to, and to Cooperstown. So, you know, there's so many things that I can point to, you know, having my family there again, you know, and, and seeing how much they were enjoying that moment. Uh, but the whole thing, it was, I mean, the, the whole weekend was like a blur because, you know, even though I was doing all that stuff, but everything was just, it was just nice. Did you get a third baseman's picture? I did, yes. With how, who all was in there? Uh, it was Smith, it was Mike, it was uh, Chipper Jones, uh, Scott Rowland, uh, and uh, who am I missing? George, was George in there? George Brad. I'm missing somebody though. Moller is the only one I can think of. Moller. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it was in the picture, but all the third basemen were okay. there. They were at 10 this year. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. What's next for you? Good question. I don't know. Uh, that was the, this was my last thing in the calendar this weekend. Uh, an event tomorrow. Uh, after that, you know, go home and be in a dad and a husband again and, and trying to figure out where we can find a, a space for a little vacation because I need to just lay down on the beach a little bit and get a little tan, a little, a little lighter. Get a little tan, get a little dark. But I don't know, I don't, I don't have uh, um, any other event after this, after this weekend. What about, doesn't AJ have to go to college at some point? We, yeah, we've been working on that. We actually just went to USD uh, two days ago okay. to get the, uh, to check out the, the, do the formal visit. And uh, we check out the fields and everything and, and the dorm. So he's all almost set there. And then my wa my daughter, my little daughter, just we just drove last week to Santa Barbara. He's going to USB. So we've been doing all that. So it's, it's why we I'm free, but I'm super busy. <laughs> but you said USD, right? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, he he was going to Washington, right. but San Diego. San, he's San Diego now because coach change and all that you know college stuff that I got I getting got to get used to it. Uh, so, Where yes. Where did you cancel your vacation? I was, we were going to Hawaii. Getting away from you. But <laughs> I'm here again next to freaking Evan. Adrian, so much individual honors and so many accolades right there for you. Um, does not winning a World Series for you, is that, is that is the rule healed by, by getting such a box? Like no, you know what? Like, uh, I'm, I'm at peace with it. Um, I, I play to win. And that was the reason why I play every year to win. But I understand like only one team can win every year. Uh, I, I was glad that I got to one. And I got to experience, and I was as close as you can get to win one. But it was God willing they want me to win a World Series, so I'm okay with it. I don't. I don't want to focus on the negative. Uh, I I would cherish to win one, but it was not. It's not on my path to do that. So I guess. It was not meant to be.